Okay, welcome back everybody. Today we're taking a look at Terran Ascension. We've been working on this for eight weeks now. Um, we've done a lot of things. So uh, first of all, this is the new main menu. Um, we're going to go straight into new game. You can enter in your name here, which is remembered. So I just put Tom. I'm going to go with Listener, which is your class selection. Listener is the thinker looker. So, now we're in the game, we're starting at Earth, okay, so first thing I'm going to do is just going to dock at the station. If you've got no cargo, no pirates will come for you because they want to steal your cargo, so at the moment there's no pirates here. So straight into the station and then we'll be able to do some more stuff. So when you're in the station, you just hit I, and your inventory will pop out. Uh, all I can do here is buy water. That's all they have on sale. You'll notice that things, the prices for the system are indicated here, but also it'll tell you whether it's available to buy or sell. So I'm going to buy a bunch of water and exit the hangar. Once we get outside, I'm going to hit the navigation with N, and then we're going to go to Planet One. So hit Mercury and hit jump. We'll fold space to Mercury. And I'm going to fly straight away. Luckily water isn't really something the pirates want. So we've still got no problems there. And this is just to demonstrate the basics. The idea of trading, how that works. Okay, the prices are also affected by the planet, so if it's a low economy planet, then you'll get a low price. You won't make as much money, but you'll be also be able to buy stuff low, so you can buy carbon here low, for example. Um, okay, so pretty much, once we're that, I just need to spend some money on something expensive, so you can see the pirates here. Um, but I don't think this planet actually... Ah, drones, there we go. Buy a drone. That should put me over the over the limit, so one drone. There we go, we've got pirates now. And they're patrolling for me. And they'll be on every level now. Um, so we'll get at least three. If it was really high, there would have been a, a seeker class closer to me right now, so I'm still below the top level or threat level. So let's just show you some combat. Um, the basics are here is we've got left mouse button and right click to zoom for scope. You hold the mouse down. We've got a laser turret there. It hasn't been balanced yet, so it's really easy to kill the pirates. But once you've killed the pirate, you actually can go over to the station here. And you can hand the points in. But you have to have 10 points to actually get paid. So at the moment you'll be able to see we've only got like probably three. I think I killed three of them. Uh, there we go. So there's three. So that's how you can hand in your combat points. Uh, repair the ship. Every time you do a jump you lose a percentage of health. So you can repair the ship there. Buy fuel is also in every station. Every time I've jumped I've used a fuel up. Uh, refit ship will offer options such as extra skins. We've been showing a couple of them off on the Instagram while we've been uh, showing off little development updates. So we'll just exit the hangar here. Okay, I think I want to sell that drone now. And if I remember right, I think Saturn buys them. There is a supply chain. Uh, different planets do different things. And they want and sell different things. So I've got to watch out for these pirates here. I've only got one, no, two. Yeah, I've only got one drone on board. Uh, drones are used to construct everything in this sort of world. So they're in high demand. Okay. So once we're in, we'll hit I. And then we'll scroll down. And there we go. We can sell a drone. We bought it for 480. And the economy is stronger here. So we've got 630 we could sell that for. So I've made a tidy little profit. Uh, the next thing to show you guys is the pirates area. 
So uh, as you can see, we've got a whole new um, navigation screen from the last time you saw the game. Uh, there's belts where you can mine. We're going to get into that later. First, we're just going to go to the pirates area. Um, the idea with the pirates area is that once you get here, there's a pirate station in the back and we've got to get to the pirate station there'll be a reward back but at the moment it's just killing the pirates for the points so we're going to blast past this first area there's pirates over there i think they're patrolling yeah they are okay so let's just fly through here we're hoping to get the sound effects in soon oh my god pirates Oh, damn, I took 50% shields. He's at me. Okay, right. Let's just keep it moving. Now, at the moment, we've got two beacons. We're planning on adding some assets to make it a little bit more obvious. But if you fly into in through the middle of these beacons, it'll take you to the next area. There are three areas, and the pirate captain is in the final area. Uh, where are those beacons? Hmm... Hmm. Well, they're around here somewhere. I haven't got time to find them, but it's that's the whole point of uh, the whole point of this is so that you can do a bit of free flight. Uh, the pirates are set to seek, so they should just be following me. However, they do have an area limit, so they probably they probably stopped chasing me by now. Yeah, right. Uh, right, so basically the next thing is I'll take us to the Martian belt and we can have a look at the mining real quick. a jump uh, mining's pretty simple uh, you just fly up to the asteroid and once you get there oh it breaks hit F Okay, so we need to change the sound effect on that, but yeah, one super loud mining session later, we've got some stuff. So let's go to Phobos, which is the current or closest mining platform area. You can fly there. Oh god, what's going on with the particles? <laughs> right, so once we get to this, this is our placeholder refinery. I know, um, we've still got the assets being polished up on this one, so yeah. Fly up to this little black square, <laughs> which is really crappy. And then you can see we've mined five ton, uh, 50 tons rather, <clears throat> of the X-type ore. Now, we could sell that at the station for 30, what's that, 31.5 each, but that's stupid. So what we're going to do is we're going to exchange it with the refinery. Um, so we're just going to hit 50 tons. It's going to take our X away. It's just going to give us four so 40 tons of metals and one ton of rare metals now that's going to attract some pirates so we're going to go and sell this now i think mars will buy it so the idea with all of these areas is that they're either planetary orbits or lagrange points or uh, moons so let's just blast through here now, it is amazingly easy at the moment, but it's supposed to be. Right. <clears throat> so, in we go. And we're going to sell that 50 tons of processed ore that we got and make a big profit. There we go. 1,918 now. So, there we go. So, we've made our money. I'm going to buy some fuel so I've got more fuel than I started with I could repair now but there's no point I've barely got any damage uh, so the last thing to show you is the boarding mechanic so let's just say I want to do some high-end trading so I'm going to take myself some polymers some ceramics and some nano tubes we're going to load up on those there we go cargo limit 
So I've got 30, well actually 60 tons of nanotubes, 20 tons of ceramics and 20 tons of polymers. So let's try and go and sell them. Now I don't know who the hell would buy these. I guess maybe Saturn? Alright, let's jump and find out. So, here we are. Let's blast to the hangar. Alright, see that guy? He's coming for me. Uh, and if he did touch me, let's just show you what happens here. So if this guy manages to get, to get catch me the first hit, whoa, is he not, oh that's good isn't it, he's not actually doing anything, hang on a minute, bugs, ah oh, there we go, ah, right there we go, it must be because he's a seeker class, so the standard AI patroller is working, I'll have to fix that, right. So here we go. As your shields collapse, pirates board and quietly, uh, quickly loot your cargo hold. So basically all I've got left now is those two ceramics. So they take one of everything of value. Because you might just get boarded straight away after. See if I manage to get myself boarded again. <laughs> Come on. Two zaps is what it takes. Now I've only got one left. So it always tells you what you got left with the boarding. But anyway, these guys are easy to kill. Like I say, the guy that gave us the sound file for the gun is the only sound effect we've got at the moment. We do want to use all of our own stuff. We don't want to just license stuff. So um, we've tried to make everything from scratch. So let's just go in here and get the uh, get those points. Should have enough to hand in by now. Ah, I haven't killed enough pirates. Weak. Right, so I've showed you guys the boarding. Um, I've showed you guys the uh, trading. I mean, obviously, on each different map, the prices change and the item availability is different per planet. You can always check it just by hitting I in space. You can see what the prices will be here. So you don't have to always fly into the station. Likewise, you don't have to open the inventory. You could just go in there to buy fuel or another reason. Um, we got plans to put in many more features before we finish the alpha. <coughs> <clears throat> and we're hoping to go into beta in a couple of months so uh so far so good um just trying to see if there's anything i've forgotten to show you ah yeah the sun <clears throat> is now a visible visitable location <clears throat> try saying that with a mouth full of jelly okay <clears throat> here we are at the sun it's pretty bright it's bright and burny and it's sort of like liquid okay and um <clears throat> this is most likely going to be the construction location of one of the main storyline structures in the game also um you can do science here but not yet so there it is there's the sun and uh, the only thing left to show you guys is the options where we've got a new controls list and a tutorial is going to be added in here as well soon. So I've got all of that there. So, and there we go. But yeah, obviously um, it's meant to be like a continuous play game. So you can save at this point and then just load when you come through. So... Um, it's made so you've got one active game, basically. So if you want to start a new game, just hit new game at any time, put your name in. And he can be Captain Blueberry, the leader. And we're back where we started. Alright, so uh, basically thanks for watching. And um, yeah, I'll see you next update.